Hello to the basic students. Welcome to another tutorial video regarding Adobe Animate. Uh, this time around, I'm going to demonstrate the use of brush tool and how it is being used in the frame-by-frame -frame animation here in Adobe Animate. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm going to draw a simple character. And my intention is to make that character throw a haymaker punch. Now, uh, before I start doodling, I'm going to reduce the alpha of my brush. So I'm just going to slide. Okay, first, I'm going to select the brush or press B. And then I'm going to slide my value probably around 45 or 30. Or you can just type it in. And as you can see, the fill becomes translucent. Okay, now I'm going to draw a simple character in a standing position. So I'm going to start now. There you go. And I'll try not to embarrass myself. <laughs> okay, here's a character, a simple one. Now it doesn't have to be clean. A rough sketch is okay. Okay, now... Probably his posing will be something like this. Okay. Okay, that's it. All right. And then next I'm going to uh, draw the second pose, which is the anticipation. And okay, I just pressed F7. It's a uh, insert blank keyframe. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... Activate the onion skin right here. And I'm going to draw uh, the second posing. So probably it's going to be here. It's going to bend a little bit forward. So... Uh, his other foot will be airborne. And uh, probably his arms will be here. There's a little bit of foreshortening on the arm here, the left arm. So, okay. That's going to be his anticipation right there. Okay. And then next, I'm going to draw the third posing. And probably it's going to be here at this area. Okay. I'm just going to fix this up. I'm going to put it here, maybe, the head. Okay, so let me just fix it up. Okay, so... Here's his foot, the other foot here, other foot probably here, and it's going to step forward. <laughs> Look at that flick. It's one of those bugs of uh, Adobe Animate. All right, so uh, he's going to throw a right-handed, uh, right-handed uh, haymaker punch. So, okay, 
and then finally the other post will look something like this okay let me just uh, close this in let me just close the gap of the keyframes okay and uh, probably it's gonna be here No, it's now my brush tool is auto correcting. This is a common problem in Adobe Animate. Okay, it delivers that punch right here. And he's going to drag his foot right here. And as you can see, my brush tool is in opacity mode or rather alpha mode. Then later on, I'm going to flesh out the details of this uh, puncher. So okay, let me just resize this a little bit. And uh, okay, when you are resizing, there's this uh, uh, lock in here. No, I can't see where it is. But anyway, going back. Okay, so here, here, here it goes. So I'm just going to add another drawing here, right in the middle of this frame in the timeline. I'm going to draw the breakdown right here. All right. And of course, the punch follows a certain arcing motion so it's gonna end here the other arm will be right somewhere here so anyway uh animations are basically trial and error thing all right um so let's see i'm gonna play it Let me just unselect that. Bam. So he's throwing a punch. It's a haymaker punch, okay? So, and as I have mentioned a while ago, uh, my drawing is in alpha mode. Now I'm going to increase the alpha to, let's say, 100 or 90. And what happens is that the ink darkens it becomes a little bit more opaque now i'm gonna flesh out the details of this character so i'm content with uh, with my key poses with my animation and so i'm gonna flesh out its details <coughs> excuse me so now the the detail of your character will depend entirely on your character design, your approved character design. Okay, doesn't have to be clean because we are not yet on the cleanup proper. And we will discuss that on another session. So this is my simple looking character. He's got some hair right here. And it's a, it's a pretty rough drawing. So... Okay, he's got some shirt, he's got some clenched fist, he's supposedly angry. He 
Let's get some hair here. You see that? It's auto-correcting. My brush tool. And that's a common bug in Adobe Animate. Okay, right here. Now, when you select your drawing in alpha mode, it becomes opaque. But when you unselect it by pressing escape, it go back. It goes back to its uh, alpha mode. So basically, what I'm trying to do here is I'm fleshing out the detail of my rough sketch. Uh, it's called modeling. And now, uh, it still looks screwed. But it's more detailed than my initial rough sketch. Okay. Then in a separate video, we're going to create uh, a tutorial on how to uh, clean this up. Okay. trying to verbalize my train of thought. <laughs> oh, you see those, uh, you see that lag over there. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna skip the breakdown a while ago and just proceed here. He's one angry dude. He's throwing that vicious haymaker punch. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna activate the onion skin. As I've said a while ago, this is still a rough sketch, but a little bit more detailed than my initial rough sketch. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, I think it's auto saving. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's try and play it. Okay. So you have a punching character. He anticipates right here, and then he delivers the punch. It's a haymaker punch. So I'm just going to extend these frames a little bit. And this one. OK, so this is our rough sketch and our rough animation. And as you can see, what I did was uh, uh, I changed the alpha of my brush just to execute my initial rough sketches. Then after that, after being contented with my rough sketches, after being content contented with my posing, uh, I began fleshing out the details of the character. And uh, for me to be able to do that, of course, uh, 
I have to toggle the opacity or the alpha of the uh, uh, the brush tool. Okay, so once again, here's our animation. Right there, he's delivering a very quick haymaker punch. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Goodbye.